Hey, Sheldon Primus, and I just want to go over the one group called the COS program, which is Certified Occupational Safety Specialist. I'm a trainer for the COS program, and it is a week-long, 40-hour class that is designed to help people who want to be safety professionals, but they do not have the degree that they would need to be a certified safety professional or they needed to fast track what it would be to learn all the things they would need for their jobs. So what is the Certified Occupational Safety Specialist Program? And what does it entail? So I was a safety and compliance officer for a special district of the state of Florida during that time period. I became a COS. And becoming a COS, uh, I did mine through Palm Beach Safety Council. And at that Safety Council of Palm Beach, uh, it's a week-long class. And I learned a lot about things that I never really thought about. I didn't think about behavioral-based safety of uh, why people do what they do. I didn't know how to identify a hazard that much. I was really just in reaction mode something will show up on my desk hey Sheldon we had an accident I'll go react hey Sheldon uh, we need to have some sort of uh, safety person on the site to see if everything is safe and I'll even do the little quotes safe so I would go down to the site and I'll look around and I'll didn't really know exactly uh, details of what was safe or not I just kind of had a gut feeling of that looks unsafe and this looks safe uh, so when I decided to go ahead and, and get a certification on safety, I had to go through just looking at all the different types of certification, which one will be uh, good for me. Uh, I did have a bachelor's degree, so I did qualify for the CSP program, and I chose not to do the CSP program, Certified Safety Professional, uh, because uh, that for me is just testing, learning math uh, of safety, uh, learning the theory of safety which is wonderful those are things that you need to know uh, however I needed practical experience right now because I was in the job and I needed the experience so I learned about identifying hazards I learned about what is a hazard I learned about uh, how to do job safety analysis I learned about behavioral based safety I also learned about a little bit of OSHA standards so I needed to know some OSHA standards though I work for a state entity uh, in Florida which has no state OSHA so therefore they're OSHA exempt I still needed to know that kind of information because we used OSHA as a basics as a baseline of keeping your workers safe I didn't know any of that I didn't know anything about the regulations I didn't know about construction I didn't know about general industry I didn't know what all those things meant so the cost program taught me that in a week. Can you believe that? In one week, I was able to get out of that class knowing exactly all the things I went into looking to find. So flip a few years forward, I, uh, I ended up becoming my own safety consultant. I put together the years I've done uh, as the special compliance and safety officer of that district. And now I'm also teaching the cost program. So yes, this is a biased uh, review of costs. However, as a consultant, I go into many companies that have CSPs they have no idea what's going on and then I deal with cost uh, uh, cost students that I may have had and they actually have a good grasp on safety they just need me to help speed up some processes that they're already working on so you could go to cost.net coss.net find a location that's close to you if you want a vacation find a location that's not close to you put in the money uh, that you need to take the exam for whatever or excuse me not exam take the class uh, you will get 4.0 CEUs that you could use for whatever designation you may have in safety uh, but it is a wonderful wonderful lesson you will be able to look at even a picture identify the hazards of the picture uh, find out what the hazard control uh, for that is and look through the OSHA standard and figure it out and say all right this is exactly where the violation would be uh, and uh, this is how we fix this problem this is how we abate this problem uh, and you will get all the information you need in one week 
uh, to get started in the safety program. That doesn't mean you stop learning. This is to give you a jump start in your career and then you keep the ball rolling with the rest of your safety training and field experience and being practical. This is a practical designation and now I could do Sheldon Primus, COSS. So get this class, you'll be able to do it too.